They do all the hard work picking out the videos, making critiques and suffer through editing. I just hope in a scene with Bowie, reacting to reactors reacting. What is up, y'all? Welcome back to the channel. Let's jump on in here. We are reacting to More Money, More Problems by Big, Notorious B.I.G., Puffy, and Maze. Maze. Uh, so, what I was originally going to do was find somebody who, a reactor who appeared to be so young that they definitely weren't around when the song came out. So, I could trust that it, it could possibly be a first time reaction. So, I'll see just what they think of this. 1990s vibe in 2024 but then I stumbled across this channel doing the exact a reaction to that exact song the name of this channel is a boomer reacts it's not a big channel I think he's got under 10,000 subscribers yeah 9.4 subscribers this video has 1.9 thousand views in a year I don't know what we're gonna get here with this boomer. Will he know it? Will he not know it? Is he? Was this after he stopped listening to the radio? I don't know. We're gonna let it flow all the way through. I wish Let's I go. could make reaction videos. And the, the reason I, okay, I see what we're doing here. The reason I chose this song is because as I'm looking for songs I wanna react to, I'm looking at currently looking at a top 10 list of 90. This song came up. And this song puts you in a it's it's a product of its time for sure. It's a time capsule. You can't mistake this era for anything else. When you look at this video, when you see the clothing they're wearing, the video editing style or production style, it is right there, late 90s vibe. Did this I was gonna say the young man, did this gentleman he calls himself a boomer. Does he know this song? I'm hoping he doesn't. Let's just I wish I could watch make it all the way. videos, but I was born in 1956. I've heard all these songs. What could I possibly react to? <laughs> ah, I see what you're doing there. Oh my God. I see what you're doing there. This man is going to become a connoisseur of hip hop. If he's listening to all of the most influential tracks, top tracks of hip hop, and hip hop only goes back to like the 70s, late 70s at that. By the time he gets through a year of listening, he's going to know more about rap than me. And I was there listening while he was listening to the Eagles, I'm assuming. That's so racist. That's not racist. He wasn't listening to hip hop. What do you think he was listening to? He could have been listening to symphony music or he could have been listening to uh, Motown because that's not rap or hip hop. All right, enough talking to myself. Let's go. Hey, whippersnappers. Brian here at A Boomer Reacts. Welcome back. If this is your first time here, thanks for checking me out. I listen to rap and hip hop songs using lyric videos and then I let you know what I thought about them. Uh, so you can see I'm reacting to Mo Money, Mo Problem. Oh, lyric video. Oh, I wish he was looking at the music video. Okay, all right, let's do it. Let's see what this, we're gonna grade this one at the end in three categories. First one is the entertainment value of his video. Number two is his breakdown of the material. Number three is the production value of his video. By Biggie. Um, and there's a reason I'm doing it. Uh, I recently reacted to um, Feel So Good by Mace. And in that uh, bio that I read, I mentioned Mo Money, Mo Problems. And I said, oh, I reacted to that. And then some, you know, some uh, sharp viewers uh, said in the comments, uh, yeah, no, you didn't. <laughs> so uh, now I'm, uh, I'm correcting that wrong. Um, so when anyone after today watches my reaction to uh, feel so good, everything they hear is going to be true. Um, I think I was thinking of um, I Like the Doe. Is that what it's called? I Like the Doe. It's on the same album. You know, Doe, Money. It's almost the same title. Didn't I tell you? He knows more Mace than I do. And I liked Mace back then. 
This is so funny what the internet does. It's so funny. This man is gonna be a, he's gonna be a hip hop historian by the time he finishes. Are you accepting any, are you accepting any of this? <laughs> um, okay, so, uh, yeah, so on the same album, that's Life After Death, which was released 16 days after Biggie's murder. The singles generated from the album were hypnotized. I reacted to that, really. Uh, Mo Money, Mo Problems, and Sky's the Limit with the B-side of Going Back to Cali. I reacted to both of those, too. <laughs> uh, Mo Who's Money, Mo Problems was produced by Boomer. Stevie J and right. Puffy okay. and features Mace and Puffy and an uncredited Kelly Price. Again? Let's get to it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Here we go. Interesting. <laughs> All right, I'm going to take it back. How, how could you not, as soon as you hear that, first of all, you know the Diana Ross song. So, uh, of course. But how can you not hear that and then be automatically transported back there, if you were around at the time? Transported immediately. his concept I like his concept it is so interesting for me to watch this man listen to those words and read those lyrics it is so fascinating to me in 2022 with all of that I ain't even gonna go into details of why but with all of those details that I just mentioned it is so interesting to watch. And having those lyrics there is a bonus because I never looked at lyrics to the song. I think I know the lyrics to all the this song. I don't know all the lyrics to this song. So I see them and it, it, it helps me to understand more the creativity in the writing process of how these lyrics were put together, how these ideas were put together in a rhyme scheme. So interesting. I, I like uh, I like the vibe here. I like the vibe. All right, let's do this. Yo, I thought I told you that we won't stop. Now what you gonna do when it's cool that 
got money much longer than yours Been a team much stronger than yours Violate me, this a B.O.J. We don't play, mess around with D.O.A. Be on your way, cause it ain't enough time here Ain't enough lime here for you to shine here Deal with many women, but treat down spit And I'm bigger than the city lights down in Times Square Yeah, yeah, yeah is so tight full of so much it's linear and it has depth it's filled with so much very specific information overloaded overloaded and the flow is so oh my gosh I forgot I forgot Mace is good and you know Diddy is Diddy but man Notorious B.I.G. That flow, we're gonna we're gonna go back and play that whole thing again. The the flow changes in there. Like I can't say some of the words, but something please lyrically how it, it. Let's go back. I'm gonna try to describe something to you that I can't say. Wow, that was so I forgot. I forgot how good be I didn't forget how I forgot very specifically why he's so great. Wow, that was outstanding. And that that was needed for the last verse. It just took the whole thing to another level. Wow. I am interested what this gentleman has to say about that. P.A. No info for the D.E.A. Federal agents mad cause I'm flagrant Tap myself and the phone in the basement My team supreme, stay clean Triple B, miracle dream I be that, catch a seat at all events Bent, gats in holsters Girls on shoulders, play boy I told ya, me and Mike's to me Bruise too much, I lose too much Step on stage, the girls do too much I guess it's like you run with lame, do too much Me lose my touch, never that if I did, Ooh. ain't no problem to get the gap where the true players at. Throw your roadies in the sky, wave them side to side, and keep your hands high. While I give your girl an eye, play your please, lyrically, nigga C, B I G B flossing, jig on the cover of Fortune, five double O. It's my phone number, your man ain't got the no, I got the dough. Got the flow down, pizzack, black and plus, like this act, dangerous on Trizak, do your ass pizzack.
Uh, so down towards the end, um, uh, Biggie did some, like uh, the word put was pizzat. So is that like the West, uh, East Coast version of, you know, pizzizzle or whatever Snoop does? Is that, is that like common to <laughs> what a theory. take a word and put um, is it inside of it? Um, let me know. Um, so anyway, the song. Um, I know you and I are probably saying um, "mo money, no problems. <laughs> but I guess in the context of being in this biz, uh, it's probably causing you more problems. But if you or I got a lot of money, uh, you know, we'd s stick it in the bank and, you know, act like we're retired. Well, I am. <laughs> um, so we have to take it in the context of, you know, the rap world and, you know, having to uh, keep up with the Joneses type stuff. Um, the, you know, I... I was surprised that Diana Ross was uh, in it with um, I'm Coming Out. Um, and then Kelly Price's um, chorus. Um, I, uh, you know, it was, it was fine. I, I like a defined chorus uh, with a woman singing, but I just didn't like the phrasing. It was just like too off-putting. It was, I don't even know how to, you know, put a name to it. It was just too stoppy starty. I don't know. I mean, I hope you understand what I'm talking about. That's it. <laughs> Her flow while she was it's singing like a wasn't good. <laughs> That's what it is. Okay, so Her, speaking of flow, um, Mace did great. Wow, such rhymes. Puff was, you know, you know, I, I had <laughs> heard a lot of Puff <laughs> rapping, and you know, he was fine. Uh, Big though, Big changed up his flow in the middle of his verse, and I always liked that. Um, so, uh, uh, Big and Mace, uh, stars of this song. Um, well, uh, if you like hanging with me, guys, give me a like and a subscribe. And I'm I see have you given you a like. Bye. Yes, I have given you a like. All right, let's bring y'all back in. Very interesting. All right, we're scoring. Okay, so production value, I can hear him, I can see him, everything was good. That's a 10. Um... Let's go with the breakdown. The breakdown, I gotta give him a 10. He put a lot of thought during the course of think, uh, listening, as well as in the end when he was giving his breakdown. And he gave theories as to what things meant. He gave this fun idea about like, uh, you know, how so certain slang came about. And then he went into the breakdown, basically in a basic way of each rapper on the track and it was plenty it was plenty so and it was from his point of view and i like that uh that's a 10. now entertainment this is the one where i am surprised how much i liked it before the breakdown first of all he doesn't cut i don't know how he does that without getting either copyright or without making any money. I don't know how he does that. But I don't believe he stopped it at all. And you can, so that adds entertainment value when the song flows through. Everybody has to stop for copyright. I don't know what he's doing. Not what he's doing. When I was doing, um, when I was introducing some fans and reintroducing some fans to Level 42, I played all of those songs, no cuts, because the point of those videos was to have the audience experience these level 42 songs from beginning to end, no interruption, how they were meant. So you can go through the flows and every flow changes, anything that happens. And if you like level 42, or if you're interested in who they are, I have a whole playlist, the top 30 level 42 songs of all time on this channel. Um, so I enjoyed watching this man think while he let a song play all the way through. I don't have the words for why now because I don't want to take your time because I want to think before I say, because I want it to be true what I mean about this gentleman. I don't know why that's so enjoyable to me. 
If you feel the same way, leave in the comments why you think. I'm gonna think about it, and of course I'm gonna come back to this channel because I wanna see what else he's done. It's all hip hop. Come on y'all, of my generation older, even a little younger. I know we've been listening to a lot of rock music. We've listened to some Beastie Boys, but we haven't really heard too much hip hop. Especially older hip hop from the 90s. So, I love the concept of his channel. I wanna come back and listen. And it sounds like he's into the hip hop. So, hip hop, so that's what we're gonna be doing. Alrighty, man, I hope you like this video. And if you like this video, you may like.